evening welcome back to Donnie's kitchen in tonight's video we're going to do it's called fried chicken steak with mashed potatoes and veggies so which I already did the mashed potatoes I cut them already and I'll do another video on that how I make the perfect mashed potatoes so you can have it for your next meal definitely make this meal for your family and friends it's a very good um, meal comfort meal it's very good and it's also gonna be with gravy too as well so I wanted to just tell you about this so today is February 8th 2023 it is 7 702 right now PM here in Donnie's kitchen so let's get started in tonight's video I'm so excited make sure you take notes turn on your notification bells and also make sure you are subscribed to Donnie's kitchen let's get started okay so which um this is the beef cubes that i already used which is right here it's the boneless beef cube steak family size pack and this was like seven dollars and 19 cents at my local grocery store and this is the brand of it it's the usda um choice from tender but from tender rich angus which is right here definitely look for that seal that stamp approval right there on your package you get about four of these beef um beef cube steaks so this is these right here and right here on my cutting board i already have plastic wrap make sure you have that and a meat tenderizer so you're going to tenderize your meat make them a little more uh, thinner not softer but just thinner so make sure you do that each and every meat And this is fun doing it too for if you're having a very stressful day at work and you come home and you want to make this comfort meal with these with these beef boneless steaks you can definitely mash use your um use your meat tenderizer and mash them on down and take the frustration off if you had a very stressful day at work so i like how that looks and yes that is very good I got it down thin just how I like it very good I'm gonna start off with the next one but I'm gonna throw this wrap away in the trash okay we're gonna continue on with the next one And I have my plate, which is right here. So that's where I put my um, that's where I put my steaks on it. And definitely, my hands are pre-washed twice, so I'll make sure of that. And again, I'm gonna show you again how thin you like your beef cubes. You can do them either either way you want. It's totally up to you. And definitely, just make sure you your hands are washed because you do not want to be in the kitchen with dirty hands. Make sure they're washed and rinsed off very good. So I'm going to do these two other ones. And I'm gonna wash my hands again. And also, as you. Um, and then afterwards, we're going to get back into um, seasoning. So it's just a very simple seasoning. Um, it's, it's, not, it's not that much seasoning. And very good, thin and sliced. I got one more. I'm gonna throw this wrap away. And this should be it with that.
Okay. So now, after you have done mash these, I mean not mash them, but you know, use your meat tenderizer for your cube steaks. Make sure you put them back onto the same cutting board. Oh, hold on one second. Not do that. Make sure you rinse this off. Clean it really good. We had all the meat, the raw meat already that's in here. Okay. And then you want to take your paper towel. Just clean off your cutting board that you just use. So you always want to make sure with any meat that you that you um, that you cook with, make sure that your cutting board is clean afterwards. But don't use the same cutting board, you know, as your meat. Use different ones. Buy different color, you know, cutting boards. Like let's say the red can be for your um like your steak or whichever. The green can be for your chicken. Uh, yellow one could be for your fish, you know, for you know, and then a blue or green one could be for your salmon, you know, whichever your choice, your kitchen. So this is package gonna be thrown away in the trash, and I will wash my hands. That's what I use. Now that I washed my hands already, and I'm gonna put my meat back onto the cut my clean cutting board, and I'm just gonna season both sides. Let me season the first side first with just regular garlic powder, salt, and black pepper on both sides. So you definitely want to do that. And definitely make sure as you kitchen make sure you have some nice hot hot water with a few dashes of dish soap and a little bit of tip uh two capfuls of bleach that's what i do because it's the way i can clean and clean and cook as i go because i like that so that way when i'm done with dinner i don't have that many dishes to clean with so this is the garlic powder that i'm going to use And this is the ground black pepper. And salt. So we're going to start off with the garlic powder. And just go real lightly with it. This is just a simple to go season because you don't want to go too, too much with it. Just very lightly. So just like a, uh, like one to two teaspoons of it. Now you're gonna go in with your salt. Not that much. And then your ground black pepper. Okay. So now that is done on the first side then you want to go and do your other side also so we're going to flip these over and let's get to our other side and then just do it all over again with just garlic powder Let's go for just black pepper because you already got salt on your first side. You don't want to have salt on the second one. Okay. But if you want to put salt on the second side, you're more than welcome to. And then this would be like your last one, which is right here. And so you want to season. What did I do with me? Oh, right in my face. I can't find it. <laughs> okay, so. Just make sure that you season your last cube steak. And then just 
do the other side with garlic powder. That's done. And black pepper. That's it. So I'll be back and we're going to finish step two. Well, hello, I'm back for so part two. So you want to make sure that you get a long, like, baking dish square pan to put enough flour into it. This is about two two cups of flour with seasoning. I use Cajun Cajun seasoning, salt, salt, um, black pepper, and seed, uh, not salt, seasoned salt, and I use um, onions, garlic, and I'm sorry garlic powder and onion powder with Cajun seasoning, black pepper, and seasoned salt. And a little bit of uh, regular salt too as well, just like a half tablespoon of, of salt. And then I mix it, mix it in with a, with a mixer. And then now in the other one here, you're going to take, you're going to reserve, actually, you're going to reserve your flour mixture with the seasoning that was already, you already you put in there already. But you can do whatever seasonings that you want. You don't have to use Cajun seasoning, season salt, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, or salt. You can use whatever seasonings you want. But that's just what I use for just the flour. But for the, for the cube steaks, I just use garlic powder, salt, and ground black pepper. Just real lightly to go seasoning for just the meat. But for the flour, I did, um, I, I'm, I have a half a cup right here, a half a cup of flour mixture. I'm put into the, into here, the pot, the pan that I have here, which I'm just using some baking pans, but um, use whatever that you have in your kitchen. And then you want to mix that also as well. And just mix it, just make sure you got enough in there. Okay. And you also want to make sure that you have at least a cup of milk or at least a cup and a half of milk just to get enough in there but you don't want to make it too uh too dredgy like so you want to take one egg from your refrigerator so give me one second i'll be right back with the egg So then you want to make sure you have one egg, crack it on in here. Make sure you don't have no shell. Careful with that also as well. Then you want to whisk in your egg very, very gently. Take your time with your flour. Don't get over the kitchen, but you can always clean your counter, of course, after dinner. Since your egg is in there, make sure you have your milk in here also as well let's try that half a cup and then just mix it with your flour mixture in your egg everyone's day today did you have a great day today it's tuesday by the um, tuesday wednesday by the way february 8th 2023 and the time now is 7 18 p.m here in the kitchen and definitely make this meal so it's a very good comfort um, meal that this is my first time ever making it. so if this comes out right i'm going to make this again because i haven't had cube steak in over whew, 10, 12 years maybe at, at the most. 
Now you want to make sure that your flour mixture is very well combined and mixed in here. Take your time with it, you know, for sure. And then also we're going to do a gravy for your, uh, for the, for the, for the meat. So for your kitchen fried steak. Kitchen, not kitchen, not kitchen. Kitchen fried steak. I tell ya, me and my brain today. But I hope you all had a great Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, by the way. I am wearing my red apron. I'm going to wear this too for Valentine's Day if I don't have to work because um, I have a special plan for Hamilton. I hope it works out and I, um, if I don't have to work. And I think that's very good. Very, very, very good. Okay. Yes, very, very good. You mix it one more time. You don't want to over, over whisk, you know, over whisk it. So, um, then I'll be right back. Oh, and also, by the way, we got these biscuits from a Red Lobster yesterday. Yesterday was Hamilton's like, date night yesterday for Tuesday, um, February 7th. We ordered some food. It was really good. We just had a really good date night at home. It was comfortable. We ordered Red Lobster, but the biscuits from Red Lobster, oh my gosh, chef's kiss, they're just, oh my God, so good. So this is going to be with dinner tonight also as well. I'm going to wash my hands because that's just how I am in my kitchen. I like to have my hands very clean, it's already clean in here. Alright, let's get back to the cooking. So I'm gonna turn my burner on my burner on. Excuse me, my burner on to about medium, I like about a medium high heat, not too of a high heat, you know, for meat. I don't do that because I just don't want my meat to burn. So I'm going to use some vegetable oil for my skillet here. And this is like a non-stick skillet. So oh, I'm going to take this off actually. Put like a little, a little bit more vegetable oil in here. No, I'm not gonna eat this one. I have the other one open. Be right back. this um, vegetable oil you, you can use canola oil it's totally up to you but I'm just going to use vegetable oil is what I like to use you don't want to have too much oil in there you want to have just enough I say about like that much oil into your non-stick skillet don't have too much of it because if you do you know you can definitely um, over fry over overcook I'm sorry, burnt. Um, you can over fry overcook your meat And you definitely want to make sure you have your tongs to flip your meat over. You also want to make sure you have a baking sheet um, with your wire rack and about four to five um, paper towel sheets. So that way, you know, you won't, um, so that way when your chicken is done frying, you can put it right on the wire rack and that way it won't, that way it can catch all the grease. So, we just got to wait a few minutes till this is being heated up enough. So, and I'll be right back. 
Hello, I'm back for part three. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Okay, so I'm back for part three. Um, for step three. So what you want to do is make sure that your nonstick skillet is definitely hot. So we're going to um, put our steak in here, the flour, definitely on both sides. Want to make sure that you get all the flour. And then shake off the excess. Make sure it's dipped in here very, very good. And then shake it, let's shake off the excess of it, the flour mixture. Put it into your egg batter on both sides. Make sure you get both sides very, very good. And then shake off the excess of that. And then put it back into your batter coat it very very well definitely use a spoon to coat the mixture so you want to go flour egg um, egg batter mixture and then back into flour okay you want to get it definitely um, uh, good like crispy enough when you you know definitely cook this so just pat it you know the tea and then shake off the excess then put it onto your little rack there and then do it again so and then don't worry I'll wash my hands again because I know I just touched a piece of the meat but just want to make sure that all this is coated very very well shake off the excess take your time too as well with this also as well so that way you know okay take your time shake off the excess very very well put it into the batter mixture okay okay back into the then the flour mixture and this part don't take that long but you know it does so just take your time, you know, no rush. Okay, put that on to your rire, um, to your rack. Okay. Flour. Okay. Make sure it's floured on both sides. I like to use my hands, so please forgive me if I'm not using the tongs. I just use the tongs for the first few um, for the first few of them. Just make sure that you get your meat floured very good and battered very good. Shake off any excess. Let it drip off, and then put it back into your flour. Um, batter also as well it's gonna be kind of quite messy but you get the point you got this I believe in you this is this is my first time ever making um, as well cube steaks because I've never made them I mean I had people cook them you know I went over to their house for dinner yes but I never cooked them myself so I wanted to try something a little bit different this year and yes I made a lot of uh, meals in the past few and like in the past week I just forgot to bring out my laptop so yes I was just tired or you know not hey I was just tired and just kind of frustrated of a week that I had you know at that time but you know what I'm back so 
I'm here. So, I'm grateful. So, yeah, make sure that this is all battered well with the flour. Very good on both sides. And then just set it onto your, uh, your wire rack. Now, it is time to fry them. But definitely after you get all that mixture onto your cube steak, make sure you definitely wash your hands and clean the counter up a little bit before you add your cube steaks to um, to your wire to um, your skillet. Yeah. So I'm just going to Washing my hands. I already washed my hands already. Okay, so I want to wash my tongue because I need these again. So that way, um, but I do have other ones. I just like using these, so I'm just going to wash these off, my tongue very, very well. Okay. You want to bring your rack over to you. I need a plate. Okay, so and it just takes like about I want to say three to five minutes on both sides. I'm not three to five. I'm sorry, like maybe like three to seven minutes. You don't listen to me half the time. Um, it takes about three to seven minutes on both sides. You want to make sure both sides are definitely being cooked. So, give me just a few minutes and I'll be right back. It smells phenomenal here. I am back for part four and I'm flipping it over. And this looking good to go. So, just waiting on that so and then we can do you also want to um taste as well you want to you can't taste your flower seasoning but you should know um i will leave i will try my best to leave the measurements in the description box below so you can definitely um get the measurements get the instructions and get the ingredients so okay but if you have more than two people in your family you know uh, you know, you, did, you definitely can actually cook this. This is the course. It's a very easy, easy um, level of how to cook this also as well. Got a little flour onto the laptop. And yeah, I mean, it smells phenomenal in, in here. Oh my goodness. You definitely got to try this. It's definitely good. It's a very good meal, comfort meal. Um, served with mashed potatoes and steamed veggies, whatever vegetables you love for you and your family. Like if you like broccoli and car uh, carrots, or if you like just carrots, that. Or you can um, you, uh, make peas as well, like in a steam bag, you know, in your frozen departments, you know, at your at your grocery store that you shop at. And I would love to do a video about that and how to spend, let's say, fifty dollars on meals. I would definitely do that in the next video. So yeah. So let's see how this looks so far. A few minutes of it. And it takes it takes pretty roughly about like I said three to five. I mean, and it, it takes about roughly three to seven minutes on both sides. But you want to flip each side over within the first one to two minutes, three minutes. It also depends too on your on your stove top as well. If it's gas, I have it in about a good medium, like about like right there, it's about a good medium. But if you're if you have like an electric as well, you know that you can put it on like four or five, you know, that would be good. And enough oil that I have in the pan, just about enough oil, about like this much, because you do not want 
a whole lot of oil. So right now it is okay, done. Okay, so now I'm gonna cook the next one. This is a very good comfort meal. I, I do like easy meals um, to cook. Sometimes, you know, there's times, I'm sorry. I did not mean to block you. I'm so sorry. But yeah, there's sometimes I like to cook meals that are easy. And then sometimes I like to cook, cook, cook. When I do have a day off, you know, from work. So yeah. I just wanted to make sure that your counter is clean, your kitchen is clean. That's just how I was raised with my mom, my grand, like with my grandmothers, my aunts. Um, they always had me in the kitchen, you know, cutting this, not yet like at three years old, but just, you know, snapping, you know, like green beans or something like that when I was three. And then as I got older, like, you know, nine or 10, they let me chop up, you know, stuff very little. And they was like right there next to me. So of course my mom and my aunts and my, and my grandmother, so, and then you also want to just take your time with this as well. You want to make sure that your cube steak is cooked to get well done because you're going to also make a gravy. That's what I'm going to do, make a gravy. I'm just checking to see how it looks. It looks good. Yep. So, let all your beef cubes cook and yeah, it just takes a few minutes to do that and then also when all the uh, or all the steaks are done we're going to also i'm going to make a, a gravy too so i'm going to clean up my counter just a little bit so letting this second piece of the cube steak cook i'll be right back So then we're gonna um also change we're gonna change this as well because i i mean i do like it but one thing um i don't like about it is you know when you have like something hot let's say you have it next to your wall here or you may have bigger space than than, than what than what we have you know um in your in like in your kitchen um it gets kind of melty like right here but it's not coming off though i mean it's a, it's a very good you know fabric uh, not sorry but like stick peel and stick you know wallpaper for your kitchen you can do it for your bedroom or your bathroom you know yeah i mean it's, it's, it's very good quality but that's just the one thing i don't like about it so you know I just put that second one in there and I got one more so the fourth one is just waiting to be cooked and that one is not ready yet so this meal takes about a good hour or less you know it depends on your prep you know how you want to prep or and you can also have your kids get involved you know not with the cooking in the pan I mean unless they're old enough like 16 or, or older you know um, but if they're younger you know uh, definitely watch <laughs> be in the kitchen with them so this is a this is a very good meal to make with you and your kids or whichever however you know you do in your kitchen you know with your family but um these if you have you know if you have more than two um people in your family you can get about two packs of these from your local grocery store into your meat department they are called boneless beef cube steaks family size so if you have a family, let's say of six, you know you can get two packs. Um, that you use, it, it give you up to four per pack 
per, um, per packaging. So eight, and if you have more than six, say you have 10, you gotta get three packs. So, you know, then you have a few extra, you know, left over. So let's get to this. Got one more, two, three. And it smells so good in here. Oh my goodness. Yes, it smells good in here. So, um, I'll be back. Um, I'm going to let these other last two cook and I'll be back. All right, last almost part of the video now is to um, make the gravy. So, we're going to make the gravy. And you want to get about two tablespoons of butter. tablespoons of butter and make sure that your skillet is cleaned um, after you're done um, cooking your cube steaks and then also turn on your um, preheat your oven to 200 degrees as well and just leave them in there so they're going to stay nice and crispy okay after you're done cooking them so this looks like it's about two tablespoons right here put that into your skillet and just let that melt down and then you're going to take a few, about two tablespoons of actually flour off as well to make sure that uh, flour is no longer in, you know, you know. So we're just going to just melt this down just a little bit, just, well, all the way to the, for the butter to melt. And then after that, we're going to add in our, our actually flour as well. We'll let this melt down just like a little bit more, this butter. tablespoon of actually flour to your skillet maybe about a half about a tablespoon and a half okay that's all you basically need okay. so then you want to just keep on cooking this and let it melt down some more till it's no longer there So you see the flour like dissolved so you want to make sure that your flour is dissolved as, as well okay so that flour is no longer in there okay All right so then you want to add your half a cup of chicken stock i mean uh, chicken broth let that go for a few minutes this, and you want to also too turn up your turn up your um, your stove to stove burner. But if you don't want to make this gravy, you can definitely just use a jar of actually gravy as well. So let this be heat up a little bit more. But if you uh, don't know how to make gravy. I, I make gravy a few times, but I always forget, you know, so And then just take your time making the gravy, but if you don't have time to actually make like white gravy um, You can't um, you can your way your kitchen. I'll definitely look it up on you know YouTube of how to make white gravy, you know or anything and then also too um, if you don't want to do your own gravy you can definitely use you know like I said like a jar of gravy you do like chicken gravy turkey gravy you know from a jar glass jar or from a can and this does look good it's white as you can see okay and then 
I just like add I just like to add chicken broth to any of my meals or anything like that because I do love chicken broth and then you want to add to as well uh, some milk say about let's do a half a cup of milk okay you want to just add that half a cup first And then you want to just keep on stirring it in because it'll come out thin but you know and if you want to make it thick whatever you can add you know um more of the, like the chicken broth or the flour if you want to make it thick you know you can definitely do that and then that is basically a good amount of milk so this is like my second time i'm making gravy i made gravy one time for me for Hamilton and i i'm about uh, last month it turned out phenomenal I don't know how it turned out good but it turned out good so I will also do a video on that too how to make the perfect gravy you know and you just let it just let it cook some more let it keep on going and about half a cup is good enough you know to make this gravy you want to just keep it on the temperature that you have it on and then also you want to make sure that you add because it'll because it'll get thick too as well it'll get thick so you do not want to leave your kitchen you don't want to go somewhere on your phone you know let your phone ring whoever's calling you you can call them back so you do not want to move from this step of making this green so um you also want to also help uh, i'm gonna put the milk back give me one second okay so to this gravy you want to add just a few tablespoons of gar uh, garlic powder garlic powder ground black pepper and your salt And you may have like a little uh, uh, dripplings from, you know, from your cube steaks into your skillet. That's okay. If you want your gravy darker, you can make, you can leave, you know, reserve some of the oil that you cooked your cube steaks in. If you want like a little more darker, darkness to your gravy, you can. If you want, it's up to you. See how it'll get like that thickness, you know, so. I'm going to let it go for just a few more minutes and then I'm going to plate up and I'm going to serve Hamilton his plate and then I'm going to uh, get my plate. And we're watching Master Chef. If you don't have Xfinity, please get Xfinity. I love Master Chef. I love anything to do with cooking because I've been doing it for a long, long time. But I just recently started doing it last month and I'm so proud of myself because I'm putting myself out there with my family's recipes. And these are mostly are my family's recipes that I, you know, show you all here on Johnny's Kitchen and gravy, mashed potatoes. I will definitely do videos of that also as well and then how to um, shop too on a budget for $50 for just two people but if you want me to do a go, come shopping with me, grocery shopping with me or if you have like say six people in your family or even four people you know and you want to go you don't want to you want to spend a hundred dollars or less so yes this gravy is basically done let's just test oh my god great gravy and yeah dinner is basically gravy so this is how you will make your gravy but if you want it to be darker you know you can and i'm gonna wash my hands And this meal will take about a good hour, hour and a half at the most, you know, so it takes about a good hour, hour and a half to just make, get it, especially get it um, prepped and everything, 
that now that takes time that takes about at least 15 20 minutes and then you know get the flour mixture you know with your cajun seasoning your black pepper your garlic powder your salt you know and your seasoned salt that and then put it and then another seasoning you know for your flour mixture but for just your meat by itself just garlic just garlic powder black pepper and salt that's it that's just a simple two as well so i'm going to serve hamilton his plate and i'll be right back okay Hamilton have just a few uh, few minutes on his uh, computer, so I'll be right back. I am back for the last final test of plating and eating and joining time with my, my hubby. So it's going to serve just like a good one. Okay, with the mashed potatoes, I'm gonna I gotta get a spoon for that. Okay, so this is the mashed potatoes right here. And I'm gonna put gravy on to um, onto the mashed potatoes also as well. So these are the steamed vegetables. This from they're from Walmart. They're in that blue packaging from Walmart. They're like 99 cents or 88 cents, something like that. I'll be trying to get like at least two or three packets of them because I can, you know, make a meal with them also as well. And this plate here is for Hamilton, so, and this is his. So then you also want to serve that delicious, delicious gravy that you made. Oh my goodness, that gravy looks so good. Okay, I'm going to give Hamilton his plate and I'll be right back. This is how his look his plate looks. So good. Oh, be back. So, I'm going to play tonight. Oh my goodness, so good. steamed vegetables yeah okay so then I'm gonna take some potatoes I'm asking this. I'm so sorry, y'all. I had these. Freeze 
One more gravy. Okay, this is my plate. All right, let's say grace. Heavenly Father God, we thank you for this time. And I thank you for this time and patience with my subscribers, new subscribers, and their families. Thank you for them. Thank you for Hamilton and his family. Thank you for myself, Lord. She gave me this talent, passion to cook. I love to cook. I hope everybody are loving these videos and continue to subscribe to Artist Kitchen. God bless all of my subscribers, people that are just stopping by and watching a new YouTuber onto my channel. God bless them as well. And in Jesus' name, we ask and pray for this meal. It will be a wonderful meal tonight. In Jesus' name, I ask and pray. Amen. All right, let's do a test taste on the cube steak and the gravy. Mm hmm. Mm. Let's taste um, the mashed potatoes with the gravy. I'm going to go eat. You all have a wonderful, continue to have a wonderful, blessed Wednesday evening. I hope you all have made a wonderful meals for you and your family in your kitchen. God bless you all. Please stay safe and courage. Dream big. Definitely hit that subscribe button to Daddy's Kitchen. Thank you so much. If you already did, God bless you. It means my heart and the world to me. Thank you. And turn on that notification bell so you'll get notification when I do another upload. And have a great evening and have a happy Wednesday. God bless. See you all next video. Bye.